today I'm going to be continuing to work on the floor joist of the tree house. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. What I've been doing is I set up a pulley system because we these bottom boards down here are 2 by 10 by 20 feet long and they are a beast. So what I did is put this pulley system right here and just a system of three pulleys one there one there and then down here and then I'm able to pull the beams up one at a time which has been working really well um, doing this by myself if I had more people it would be super easy but hey I like to struggle so I got those two up there and uh, just biting at the bit to get more up there so without further ado let's get to it Everything's going very well for the most part, mainly in the fact that I haven't fallen to my death yet, so that's still good. But having to make a couple adjustments, just making it up as I go. Everything is structurally sound for the most part as far as the foundation system with the yoke system and the main 24 foot beams that you can see here. I thought <clears throat> with the floor joists and everything that I would go over uh, two out because I've seen uh, pictures of people doing so, but for whatever reason, I don't know, I guess if I thought about it longer, I'd, I'm sure I could figure it out, but it's just not seeming to be structurally sound enough for you know me to walk away with a warm fuzzy feeling in here in there um, <clears throat> I got the beams here there those joists there which that mainly gives these outcropping these two its support and I went before how do I verbalize this before I put the other one on over here, I walked out on it a little bit and it started to give, you know, reason, rightly so. You know, because it didn't have the support from this one on it yet. So, <clears throat> I, took, I put my pulley strap on it and pulled it up. It only went back down like an inch or so because I didn't test it entirely, you know. So... I got that joist up there. I think so far you can see I moved it back the one joist like I said I was going to. It is already a lot more sturdy and I, I feel better about it. So I'm really glad I made this decision. And then I also right here, uh, where is it? Here you can see I added that as well just for support. So. I just want to reinforce that center center area of you know for strength. So 
it's going really good now i'm just gonna move everything back into position and then anchor everything back down to the beam so it's coming along okay so i got everything done uh i'm out of material That's great, Jason. You found the frog? All right. <laughs> They're so cute. Like I was saying, I am out of material. So I'm waiting until the next paycheck, and then I'll buy some more and just continue. But phase two, the deck is going very well. I will say there was a little bit of a learning curve because when I extended the floor joist out a little bit uh, towards me, you see the two joists that are coming out. I didn't put enough supports in there and it ended up sagging uh, significantly in it. So much so where I almost decided not to protrude from the beams more than two. I was going to take it back one. I'm talking about this one right here. So I was gonna bring it back to the beam here, one, just so I'd have more support. But after talking to some contractor friends, they told me that I needed to get some more supports there in the middle. So I ran, I'm running a stringer of those every four feet. And that has significantly improved the durability. So, once again, I have that warm, fuzzy feeling about it. So, I'm going to continue as planned. On this side, it's, it's not complete as much as the other side. Because this is where I'm going to have my stairs. So, where I have the double joists here, my stairs are going to mount here and then go down. And then I'm going to have another beam coming out here, probably, I don't know, a 4x6 or something coming off that tree and then supporting the stairs that are coming down from here. So I'm leaving that open because I'm going to have to cut some of uh, that wood out so there's no sense, you know, putting supports in or anything for now. But I was very happy to get the material all the way on the other side of this tree. Everything is anchored to the main beams so there's really no worry of it moving. Jason found a body for me. Whoa. Let's get a close up. Oh goodness. I got you. <laughs> is <It's it>? him. <laughs> you got your toad? Uh -huh. What's his name? Peanut. Peanut? <laughs> alright, well don't squeeze Peanut too hard, alright? Okay. Okay, or else he'll turn it into peanut butter. Okay, so... Like I was saying though, it's secured to the main beams and uh, it's as I was building it, it was very apparent as I kept adding, you know, the next joist, how more durable it became. So that really helped, helped ease my mind. Anyway, I don't know, should I climb up there? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's climb up there. Okay. So we are 15 and a half feet in the air. And I've got my joist spaced every 16 inches. And then the supports across there every 4 feet from, you know, the outside. And it is really coming together. What you see is a little bit of G tape. Um, I'm, I'm using Gorilla Tape and like official G tape. So you can see the difference here. So that is Gorilla Tape and then right there overlapping is G tape. So the G tape is specifically made for decking or joists. And what I found in comparing them to Gorilla Tape, which I just thought G-Tape was short for Gorilla Tape, but no, it's a separate thing. 
this G tape has a little membrane on the inside underneath of it so like if you put a screw for your deck in it when I lay the decking the membrane will help seal behind that screw so that is one up on this Gorilla Tape making it a little bit more durable and you can see a little bit of that membrane sticking out there I'm also trying a new camera it says it's 4k but I'm not convinced so there you can see that and then two um, you see I, I labeled the top of my Joyce top because before I put them up here I checked them to make sure I could find locate the crown and if to locate the crown on a Joyce it's going to be whatever portion of the board is curved upward so you want to have that crown coming upward kind of like that you know okay so it's going like that so you want to have it up like that if you go down it's a lot easier or uh, it's a lot harder to get your deck level or if you have your joist all like n not consistent so if you have one crown up and then the next crown down it's going to be a lot harder for you to level your deck just food for thought if you care about that so and then like I said up here this is where I'm going to put my stairs so right here I'm going to have my stairs attach here and go down and then I'll add supports as I go and then what I'm going to do is I was going to have the stairs all the way out there and then I was going to have my treehouse butt up against the very edge of the platform but in order to just be a little more secure and then also give me a platform to work on the treehouse up here I'm going to bring in the wall of the treehouse at least two feet maybe more um, maybe two and a half so we'll we'll see it'll all based off of where I decide to mount my stairs here so you're gonna come up here and then this is gonna be your platform here to, to turn and and come on the deck so at least that's the idea for now so everything's going very well and uh, let's see I can't really think of anything else I want to add here no real learning curves um, I will say that when I added the G tape or Gorilla tape onto the joists and beams ahead of time as I was hoisting them up with the pulley system that I got and the you know tractor or whatever uh, some of the G tape did take some hits and so I did my best to repair it by just laying another strip down on top of it just to to make it more waterproof just like for example on these main beams as I was moving this um, platform the joist back and forth it tore up some of the tape so what I did is I attached the pulley system to the platform and then I used the tractor to lift it up a little bit get it into position and then before I set it down I repaired the tape so I'm just doing my best to make sure it this thing is gonna last longer than me so anyway guys all right today <clears throat> I'm hoping to uh, finish the rest of the decking up there so at this point um, I've used a variety of different ways to get those boards up there I've used a pulley system as I've shown you in the past and for these last couple ones I'm just standing them on end and then while I'm in a uh, supportive position up there just manhandling them up there which is faster and easier than just actually being by myself using the pulley so that's what I'm doing there while I'm working on this next step <clears throat> I have my eight footers down here um, sprayed and they're drying 
all I'm using these for is I'm cutting them up into the 16 foot sections that are like those little things right there running through there so I'm doing those letting these dry coat on both sides I ended up picking the handrail like um, for the guardrail guardrail here so I picked up some of these and I'll be staining them uh, shortly I decided to go with a, a lighter color let me show you guys that so this is a brown it's a mission mission brown cobalt exterior semi-transparent I'm pleased with it and then for this one we went with Valspar exterior and then we did Grand Mesa and semi-transparent and it is a much lighter color so I mean it, it's not it's not crazy light. I wanted to do it light. My wife didn't want me to. So we compromised. So if it looks like crap, I'm blaming her. I bought a couple boards for uh, the deck. I got four of the 16 footers and four of the eight footers. So as soon as I put my guardrails up here, which are gonna be sta stained the same color as the decking, I'm gonna have um, the guardrail and the boards be the same stain as the treehouse so it should contrast well against the structure we will see but what i wanted to say is <clears throat> i've done my best to pick good lumber every time i go and i feel like i've done pretty good there's been a couple bends and warps that i didn't see but i was able to um, manipulate the wood to work in my favor with the structure but I got this 16 footer and all of them turned out really well but I flipped this one over and right in the middle you see that so that's no bueno because if I use that basically it's just gonna weaken before the rest of the beam and eventually that'll that'll rot out so I'm not what I'm gonna do is I'll just cut it cut it out and then uh, that's what we'll do I'll use it elsewhere so I just wanted to give you guys that tip let's see talked about that all in all everything's going really well what you guys are gonna see in this next video or this next segment after this one is right here on this end it's gonna cut back at about a at a 45 degree angle the reason being is because here I'm gonna put a slide one of those tube slides and so between these two decking and that tree I'm gonna put a little rope bridge so in order to make some room for that thing I'm cutting the corner off of this deck this corner is gonna continue out all the way um, about right here not as far as the other one because there's really no reason for it so I'm just doing that so all in all it's looking really good so let's get to it I'm working on the posts over here but uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm working on the stairs so my goal was to get the stairs the decking and the railing done before winter but I don't really know if that's going to happen. So what I'm doing is I'm doing what I can do right now, permitting, weather permitting. So I know this is overkill, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very small cement pad that you can see. And I've done the rebar just because I don't want it to crack over the years. So it's going to be about four inches long. I'm not framing it. I'm just going to square it off with you the. On YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to put this on YouTube, Regan. Definitely, I'm not framing. Okay, so I'm not framing it. It's going to be about four inches thick, 
and then uh, my stairs are just going to come to the edge and it's going to be about 30, 36 inches wide. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today and uh, I'm also going to be using some stamps to stamp a little welcome right here and then behind on the back that you're not really going to see it from the front but underneath behind the stairs on the pad uh, all the kids are going to do their hands and then we're going to stamp in 2022 because as i do cement projects just throughout the yard which every year it's kind of cool i've since 2020 i've got a cement project with our hands and date stamped in i i did the pad over in front of the shed and i did that pad for the oven and smoker and so now I'm doing this, so just something to, just pretty neat for the kids to just compare their hands. They get a kick out of it, and it involves them. So we're going to do that, and see how it goes. Let's get to it. Okay, so it went really well. I ended up using four bags, well, four and a half of 80-pound concrete in here. You already saw the rebar. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um didn't have any problems at all we put those letters in for the welcome that you see I'm gonna take those out and then uh, for the 2022 I just moved one of the twos over for the two I'm fine with it whatever and then I ended up putting brackets in here for the stairs so on the side they're going to attach through here there you go, through those holes in the side and then uh, they're also removable so what if we decide not to anchor it or if we decide to replace wood or something we can do that I decided to do that because uh, I just I just want it to be as sturdy stable as possible and then over here <clears throat> we got the kids handprints in it's in their first letters of their first names so all in all, I think it turned out really good. So next I'm going to be putting the stairs up to about right here. And then I'll be putting brackets out from each of these trees. And then running, running two 4x4 four by, four by 20 foot long beams right here. So it'll just be a single thing. A uh, single walkway right there going to my stair entrance here and then up to there I'm going to build uh, a staircase at the appropriate angle. So whether I can get all this done before winter we will see but here's how it's looking right now in October of 2022. 